So let's talk about how to get people's numbers on FaceTime using the iPad. Let's get into this. So it kind of depends on what exactly you mean by that, but it is possible that you want to know how to contact someone on FaceTime or trying to figure out how someone is somebody's like linked phone number and everything. So for that, just open up the FaceTime app on your iPad. And if you can see the history or like you already made some phone calls with uh, people in the past, what you can always do is just to tap on the information icon next to the history right there and it will open up the their contact page. And in there, you'll see all of the associated information. So it might contain a phone number or it might not. So it kind of depends. So you'll see what's up and least go ahead and try that out. Besides that, if you want to just start a brand new contact or brand new call through FaceTime, you can tap on a new FaceTime right there and just start typing in either the name of the person you want to call if you have them saved or a phone number, which might help you locate them like that, right? So that might be very, uh, very useful in, in that sense as well, right? So that's kind of how it works. And if you just, you know, on the iPad, it's a bit different. So I'm just talking about the general point of making calls on the iPad. Well, we do not have a phone icon or a phone app on the iPad. So if you want to call someone through FaceTime or whatever else, you don't really have a dial pad, but instead you can open up the contacts and start a new one, save their, their number right there. And using this, you'll then be able to just tap on their contact and even look it up through the FaceTime app or start a Google Meet call. Right, so it's very useful in that sense, and that's how you can start calls on the uh, FaceTime on the iPad. So let me know below in the comments if there are some more questions you might have regarding this topic. I tried to cover it as extensively as I could with all of the things which crossed my mind, but it's possible that you meant something else by looking this up. So if that is the case, let me know below in the comments. But for now, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial in the future.